Welcome back guys to a new Boomish video. There's only one day left. So let's see. So we have two chests there. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the top part over here because what I want is that uh, extra troop damage rather than the troop health. So if I can get to that um, quickly enough, that'll be pretty good in terms of our, our attacks there. This one requires 34 keys and we would definitely want the sky shield there to slow opponents down so that they can't flare to the last ender room. So that's the plan there. Let's hop into it right there. This is also our boss battle into rank 20 there. So if we win this, we can grab that uh, juicy rank chest. So fingers crossed here. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully the opponent is not too far ahead of us in the tech tree. And we can get a fair battle over here. So we're finding an opponent. I'm still using the three heavy choppers rest bombardiers. He's already on rank 20. Okay, so let's take a look. He's got a blaster in the center. Three critter launchers. And I'm gonna have to delay drop quite a long time on the on this side over here for them to go over there. Uh, what I might just do is drop two in here instead, and drop four down here. Let's flare over here. He does have the critters back there, and he's got a doom cam back there. I hope that enough heavies can drop down to distract those defenses there. And let's get ready, dropping those guys over there, and there. Okay, that's fine, and I think let's see okay i might just hold off here for a second and see what's gonna happen let's just keep moving forward here We're, we really are being slowed down by these darn uh clear launches here so let's drop kavan around here now and i'll just spam a couple of uh, second wins here it's mostly gonna be heavies coming up because none of our bombers have died yet i don't think so let's just do a bunch of second wins there they'll go over there should be good enough there and let's see okay so we're still looking fine all sides there let's do a second one right now i saw a bombardier just die there okay so we're doing okay there let's do a mech it over here counter that flamethrower damage okay that's pretty good those guys up there are looking all right there's plenty of troops up there as well uh we really gotta watch out these guys though so let's baby these guys a tiny bit more we need them to stay alive. There's there's two bombers up there across the gap there. Those guys are fine. They're going up the center. And let's just zoom out a bit more. And okay, so let's use our max barrage up there. Get that end room down a bit uh, down in terms of health there. And if we can, we can't barrage just yet here. So let's flare and then let's barrage. And what are we going to get? Two minutes, 10 seconds at least. A lot of riflemen there, but come on guys. Just flare, flare, flare. Two minutes, ten seconds. Okay, he is still on four engine room, so I'm very hopeful here. Two minutes, ten seconds. Woman is 58. Yes, lovely stuff there, guys. And he's still got two over there, two of the engine rooms over there to grab. So finally, we have gotten into rank uh, 20 there. After reaching it like five or six times, being so close to it, only a couple of key uh, stars short of getting into rank uh, 20 there. So that's pretty nice. Let me know how you guys are getting along now, guys. The warships is almost over, so rank 20 is going to be my highest so far. Hopefully I can get into rank 21 before the end of the season. Uh, fingers crossed, I think with the extra troop damage, I think I should be able to make uh, rank 21. But you never know with warships there. So I th he must be collecting for end rooms here. He's not flaring back. Is that machine gun going to stop any of his heavies? It's taking him down nicely. A bunch of heavies left. Come on, machine gun, take down those heavies. And then the and then the boom cannon can come in and take out that heavy chopper there. That's gonna be the plan. So he's got barrage there. 59 seconds. He's not gonna make it, it's gonna be too slow. Come on, boom cannon, take him out there. Sniper tower, what are you targeting? I can't see what the sniper tower is doing, but there it is. Uh, he's got heavy heavy chopper left. Couple of shots here. A bunch of heavies are gonna drop out and come on. There it is. And how, is that going to be enough for damage? I don't think so. I think the boom cannon should be able to take those guys out. Okay, he's got 250% troop damage. Okay, I did not see that guy. So I'm just looking at his stats. There's got 250 troop damage, 30% building damage, 100% building health there. And yeah, with that 250 building troop damage there, he was able to take us out there. Just about there, he was so close there to fizzling out. Only two heavies left. So let's grab this guy and we'll grab the rank chest there. That's going to be really, really nice there. Finally getting up there. 
So let's grab this one over here and let's go over here and get what we need. We're going to grab this sky shield over here and we have enough keys for this one as well. So let's grab it. Lovely stuff. Make sure, making sure to get the right one there, guys. It's troop damage and then, of course, the cryo bombs are definitely going to be nice for those cluster uh, bases to slow them down as well. So I'm not too sure where to put this guy because a lot of our base is really spread out. So we don't have anything too clustered together. Um, let's see. So I might just put them over here. Not sure which one. So I'll just move this guy over here. And I'll just move this guy over here for now. So that they can't flare onto it. And then once we do more attacks and I take a look at the replays, I might move that afterwards. Or make some slight modifications there. But we're trying to do a little bit of spread out base design, make the best use of our deck layout. Okay, so the opponent has already started. So let's get a move on over here, guys. Let's drop one there, one there. And I want to take out this mortar here. And then we're going to try and flare them over to the uh, bottom over here. So let's take that one out there. Let's go over here and take this mortar out next. If we can keep going over here. Okay, guys, sorry about that. So let's get back into the attack over here. I have a feeling that we've already lost it because we weren't really paying attention for that split second we were gone. So let's go over here and let's see. So let's take out that darn uh, launcher there, shock launcher. Do a few second wins over here. Hopefully they protect that one bomber down there. A bit more second wins there. Okay, let's try and take out that clear launcher in the center there. Okay, not too bad now. So long as we're still progressing. And we're not being slowed down by too many of these uh, clear launchers. We'll, we'll do fine. Let's just do another second wind. Bring on more troops onto the field there. No one is going up to, up to the far right hand side. The opponent did start earlier than us. So we have to keep that in mind as we see our engine rooms go down here. So we're about to flare here. He's got, he's got that one underneath. A, no, we can actually flare up to that one. So that's going to be pretty good. Let's use our barrage over here. And let's see, so that engine's gonna go down. Let's get ready to flare. And we'll just flare there. And barrage there, okay. And one barrage over there, even though most of it's not gonna hit it there. Only a couple of barrage might make make it to that engine room there. And two minutes, six seconds, okay. I'm not too hopeful here, but um, he did start early, earlier than us, so fingers crossed here. I'm still on rank uh, 20 here. And we got the win, lovely stuff there, guys. I did not expect that there. So let's grab this last one. And is that going to be enough? No, I don't think so. I think we need about 30 keys or something to get. Oh, no, it's not. It's just about enough, thankfully. Wow. So that's it right there. And then tomorrow we're going to grab that juicy troop health there. And let's see what's over here. So perhaps a uh, damage amplifier might be best, obviously, over there. Uh, crew launchers here, super nice as well. So definitely this one first. So let's just do one more attack over here. I'm liking where we are right now. We're on a small uh, Trex win streak. Let's keep this going. If you guys are if you guys are enjoying the Warships video and tune in regularly, I do appreciate uh, subscribe also. So let's keep going here. We're at rank 20, 20 here. And okay, so he's at the previous engine room level. So we should have the advantage here. Uh, let's just drop this guy over here, two over there. Let's flare right in there. And then we'll flare him to the right hand side afterwards there. Grab that. Flare over there. And we'll drop these two over here so that as they're taking that one out. And now let's start to use our cryo bombs. So this is going to be pretty good. We're going to be able to take out the mines, the regular mines, shock mines, boom mines, all types of mines there with these. Let's use our first cryo bomb over here. That queer launcher and shock launcher is starting to activate there. And bam. There it is, lovely stuff there, slowing them down quite a bit there. So let's use it over here. And there it is, nice. So let's take out the Doom Cannon over here. Zoom out a bit more. There aren't too many troops down here, unfortunately. So let's, uh, might be a good idea to get Quitters. Because I need some something since I don't have shocks yet. So this, this bomb here down here is going to die. Yep, there it is. We didn't have any shocks or critters to distract that uh, defense boom can there. But let's keep going. So we're we're doing fine. Kavan is up at the far right hand side. A lot of our troops are in the center here. Let's do a mech kit over here. They're really low on health. Let's just do another mech kit there. And let's get ready here. Come on, we should not be losing this. I will be super, super sad if we do lose this against a uh, 6 engine player. Kavan is still alive, luckily. So let's go over here. 
two minutes 27 i can't flare onto any of these yet because we're sort of we're on both sides of the deck over here let's go with there we're on that one already so let's do a barrage there two minutes what can we get two minutes 13 13 right there okay so that should be solid even though it was very very sloppy to be honest let's go over here two minutes 13 two minutes 17 16 and he still has the sky shield to get through there so that's really nice guys so i think we're on a nice little roll He's using the laser rangers there. Okay, so the laser rangers will be very nice against cluster bases, but obviously my one, my base is relatively spread out, so you're not going to get too much of a value out of them. And and also my rockets are maxed out as well, so whenever the rockets hit the hit the heavies, the salvos will also hit the laser rangers also. So come on, rocket, there it is. Yeah, there you guys see it right there. So that's pretty nice. 1 minute 42. Very slow time there. And that's pretty nice. So we're almost rank 20 and a half there. Almost there up to rank 21. We should have no issues getting up there. Let's take a look at where we are in terms of the local leaderboard anyway. So we're, we're, we're number 9. That's pretty good. Let's take a look at where uh, Grenz is. That guy is also always in the leaderboards, I believe. So his base is pretty nice to look at. Let's see. So he's got... Okay, he's doing a sort of split. Okay, so we might want to switch over to something like that, but he's got the microwave right there. So let's just do one more attack and then we'll call uh, we'll call today there. Try and end on a win streak there. Uh, we're currently on a 4x win streak, so let's grab that last uh, win. So let's do one over here, one, two, there. And I'll just get that center one and then we'll go over to that, uh, to the bottom one. Grab it there. And that was a bad flare right there. Mortar, nope, it did not take out our troops just yet. So I'm going to do that there. And I'm going to reflare here. That might be a bad mistake, but let's try and keep going here. Right there. One there. And we'll just do one, two. And let's do a shock over here since we do have that. Let's start using it. Right there. And far side over there. Let's do. I want to do a shock on that doom cannon for sure. We gotta slow that, slow that, slow that defense down. Okay, it's already gone. Let's do that. Let's do a second one right there as it's coming down. Mech hits over here. Tons of mines there. Okay, let's just keep doing some second wins there. Okay, I think we're looking okay. Let me take out this bunch of mines over here. I'd say as the bombers come down that side. That this side is fine. I think. Okay, we're moving up. Let me zoom out there. I'm sorry for all the zooming in, guys. Whenever I want to throw down GB, like a cryobomb, I want to zoom in so I get that perfect uh, placement there at the center of the defense. So let's shock down. Let's shock all that stuff there. Okay, lovely stuff there. Let's do a barrage in the center here. He's on two. We are on two as well. Let's get ready with the bras there. We want to do a bras at the right hand side as well. If we have enough GB. And can we get 2 minutes 10 seconds? He's on ours. We're on. Yep. They went, went at the same time there. 2 minutes 11 seconds. Fingers crossed. What are we going to get? 2 minutes 11. 2 minutes. Ooh. Oh he's using seekers. No. Okay. Seeker player for the win there. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Not too many people down here are Seekers, so that's why I haven't really been making like an anti-Seeker base. As you know, most people are Heavy Chopper and uh, Bombardier. So obviously, if you can make Seekers work there, you saw the time there, 2 minutes 34. That's what he got. This, yeah, this base is not an anti-Seeker base at all, guys. Uh, but luckily, I think that's just a once-off, to be honest. I'm not really expecting too many Seeker players. I'm low in rank. I don't really expect uh, too many people that are in rank uh, 20 right now to be using seekers but occasionally you will see people obviously let's take a look at this guy and my end rooms aren't really cut out for defending against seekers here obviously so we'll, we'll go back we'll end on that anyway um i'm pretty sure that we can go into rank 21 there uh today if we do push up and then tomorrow we'll grab the nice uh, troop health guy so stick around for tomorrow's last video I hope your worships are going well and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.